Hello everyone! Welcome to a very, very exciting box opening video here. Um, this baby is, gosh, I don't even know how to say this. It's extremely, extremely special to me. Um, my bestie, <laughs> um, Karina, Cory at Purple Petal Leaves on Instagram, and gifted this baby to me. And this baby is done by her favorite artist, and I admire her work a lot too, um, Emmy with Swanky Booties. And I've seen pictures of him, and I am just beyond thrilled to open him up. Um, I'm probably going to list the sculpt name in the description. So this is the Pip Sculpt by Cassie Bryce, and he's a preemie little guy. And from the pictures, I can tell he's very newborn, very detailed, very, like I said, very, very special to me. So, yeah, you're staring at my hand because um, I didn't, like, try to hide my address or anything. Not that I don't think anyone's going to come after me. Usually, if you know somebody's name, <laughs> their address information isn't really that private nowadays with the Internet. But, again, that's just kind of what people do. And I didn't block her address just because I know that's not a residence it's like a mailbox so I like I said I realize I might not be the smartest in doing that but again I feel like nowadays everything is just so public it's it's sad but you know if even if you know where I live you can come by and play dolls with me right <laughs> if you want to come to Bend Oregon that's where I live um I don't know any other doll collectors here, but it seems like most people I know are either in California or it seems like more like East Coast, uh, you know, that part of the country. But it's always fun. I love meeting people from all over, all over the world. That's what's so special about this hobby. And it's just neat. As much as like people put down social media, um, you know, if you use it in the right way, it's pretty cool that you get to meet so many people and then that you can share a hobby like this. Because again, I don't know any doll collectors locally, so this allows me to make so many friends. And like I said, I think this is such an amazing hobby. I'm not a drama person. I'm just here because I love dolls, and I'm sure that's why most people are here too. So it's fun to share. But look, aw, she's sent stuff with him. How sweet. Um, I wasn't... Again, I didn't know that she was going to send anything with him, but look at that cute little bib. It's just... I really love just simple blue and white things like that. Um, I love, I got this, as you can see, Peter Rabbit's my favorite. And especially for a boy, because, you know, the blue color and whatnot. I mean, you can do it with a girl too, but that's why I put out this quilt because I haven't really used that much since I got it. And I have boys that I love, but I just thought it'd look, look sweet with him. He's a newborn and Peter Rabbit's probably going to be one of my faves with him. And then cute little Carter's pants and it looks like a little matching doggy top how cute is that look at the doggies that's so cute oh it's so nice that she sent a couple little clothing items well it looks like more than just a couple that is newborn um i'm assuming he's gonna i mean newborn always fits on the preemies too it might be a little big but i was expecting to be and that's just cute basic red striped onesie how nice and some diapers look at that how cute. Diapers are always good. Oh, jammies. Oh, how cute. I love little boy stuff. Um, oh, this is a preemie. But I like, I tend to like the sleepers that don't have feet on it. But every time I see something like this and that little, I do have two sons. And it always makes me, reminds me when they were babies. I still remember buying the little clothes and going, oh my gosh, someday I'm going to have a little baby that fits in there. Just get so excited. Um... And, oh, this must be his COA. How cool. So she included that. And he is a limited edition. Um, $12.50. He's not, well, there's $12.50 of his sculpt. Again, I'm not sure how well. I know there's a shadow. That's why I try to lean back here. But I apologize for the shadow. My, I think my body is putting in this video. But he's $10.60 of $12.50. So... I always like having a COA. I make a little binder with all my baby stuff. So let's get that out. And look how little he is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he fit in this. Do you notice how small this box is too? I love it. <laughs> it's so tiny. He's so 
tiny and look at this. Oh my gosh, he's seriously, well, his legs are curled up. Okay, but still, oh my gosh. Oh, what a cute little receiving blanket too. I'm so excited. Well, let's move out this. And he's weighted perfectly. I mean, he's a, he's a pretty good weight. Um, I'm not sure how many pounds he is, but I can just tell from lifting him that he's, he's perfect. He's perfect, little newborn preemie dude. Oh my gosh, look at the feet are sticking out. Look at the toe curl. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Perfect color. Look at that. Perfect little newborny pink color. Your little footsie wootsie. So cute. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to see him. Oh my gosh. And he's so little, but he's so perfect. I've only seen his foot and I already know he's perfect. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, looky, looky. And there's a hand. Oh my gosh, she is painted so nice, Emmy. Oh my gosh, look at that. Little creases, oh, oh my gosh, his outfit's sweet too. <gasps> it's his little guy up there. I kind of snuck a peek, but I do want to take his pants off so we can see <laughs> the leggies. I love the little legs, the little chicken chicken legs. <laughs> but I love that he has the stretched out toes on that foot. That's my favorite, Oh. And that's one thing Cassie Brace normally does good like hand and foot things. Says so look at the difference in his hands too. This one is open and that one is fisted. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so little. The limbs are so little. <laughs> I, he probably is gonna be. Yeah, I think he's gonna be my smallest baby. I have a couple other preemies, but he he's a true preemie. The other ones are kind of big preemies. Oh, how sweet. Look at you. Okay, we're gonna just keep on going. Oh my gosh. One thing I love about this sculpt, and he is wearing a diaper on his head, so here I could do this. Um, so I just love the mouth. Yeah, I'm gonna let you have a sneak peek at the mouth. Here we go. There's his mouth. Look at that little mouth. Oh my goodness, he's so precious. He's so sweet. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? I'm certainly ready. I do like that diaper too. That's cute with anchors. Let's go one. Two, three. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. His hair. I mean, my gosh, his whole face. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look how realistic. But look, his hair. Oh my gosh. Again, I know the lighting on this isn't the best. I will be definitely taking pictures for Instagram, but he feels so good. Oh my gosh. I can't stand it. It's, it's way too cute. And I don't have any preemie boys. Like I said, he's definitely going to be my smallest baby. But my um, two other small ones, they're girls. So he makes a perfect little brother for them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. He's so little and so perfect. And his name is Sebastian. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Karina and Amy. This little guy is... <laughs> it's just amazing. I love him so much. I just want to cuddle him with his arms open like that. It's like he's like, Mommy, hug me. Don't just hold me for everyone to see. But again, there he is. There's baby Sebastian. I always appreciate everyone watching. Box openings are fun. And like I said, it's a nice way to connect with the Reborn Doll community. So thanks, you guys for spending just a little time with me to see this precious little guy. I hope everyone has a great day, night, month, year, everything. We love you. Bye-bye.